Hey everyone, this is Julian from the Binary Lab. In this video, I'm going to be talking about you know the rise and fall in the main cryptos, whether you should be worried. Okay, so um, the last couple of days, I think, was a very, very good case study to talk about this topic. And I would say that the last couple of days, more than any point of time, because I think that's something that most people can relate to, given that now a lot of people are paying attention to cryptocurrencies. So I would like you to have a look at the last couple of days of December as a very good case study for today's video topic as to, you know, should you be worried about the rises and falls in cryptocurrency? The reason why I made decided to make this video was because uh, I get questions from friends, students, um, you know, former co-workers uh, as to, you know, like, oh dear, uh, is, 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 is the bubble bursting? Why is there so much daily fluctuation? Why is it up one day and down the next up uh, and like uh, up in the morning, down in the evening? Why is this happening? Um, and I get questions like, oh dear, like don't uh, can you see that right now this looks like a head and shoulders pattern? Is it about time that everything like fell in a big correction, like 60% down? Uh, is that, uh, do, do you feel risk? Do you feel that we should uh, cash our existing holdings right now and take the loss? So I'm getting a lot of these kind of questions, but you know, to allay all these fears, okay, um, I, I want to look at it at a different angle. Okay, I, I discuss. Uh, I have a video talking about greed and fear in crypto investing that I think you should check out too. But today in this video, I'm going to be talking about it from a different perspective. I'm going to be talking about it from the perspective of the coin market capitalization. Crypto coin market capitalization. There's a website set up for this purpose. It's, it's uh, coinmarketcap.com. Very, very useful website. Once again, it's coinmarketcap.com. And you know, every time when someone asks me this, uh, I just refer to the website and I, I just told them I'm staying put. And on what basis did I decide to stay put? So I'm gonna share that with you. Okay, so if you haven't already have this habit, if you're in cryptocurrency investing, you should be checking you know, the coin market cap overall a couple of times a day. I think three, three times a day is a very good start because that allows you to understand the basic behaviors. And this is the same ways that I you know obtain an understanding uh, of how the forex market works, uh, I watch it in different time frames. I watch it, you know, from the hour charts down the way down to the 15 and 10, 10 second charts, and you found an understanding of how it works. And based on this understanding, able to create strategies uh, that enable me to either trade or invest without worry. All right, without excess worry, even for new investors, without excess worry. So, to answer this question, okay, should you be worried? The last couple of days, you know, I saw that there's a pattern of the coin market capitalization going between around 530 billion and 600 billion per day. So uh, that's a fairly huge fluctuation. That is about that's more than 10% fluctuation on a daily basis. It could be up in the morning, down in the evening, up in the morning, down in the evening, or it could be up in the afternoon and down in, and down, you know, the, the next part of the day. Uh, so what actually has been causing the recent rise and fall in the crypto markets? I believe in my, okay, and this is, this is, this is like seeing that what's happened in the last one, two, three days, uh, I have very good reason to think that my belief is correct, that the rise and fall is is all down to retail investor retail investor what, what's the word for it panic uh, speculation all right these are some some things to this is what I think because all right when when you see like a sell-off beginning to happen people jump in when 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 people see the price going up a little bit you know they jump in to do a rally and and that's already psychologically made because everyone has uh, heard of uh, you know Warren Buffett's concept you know um, you know like buy when people are selling so when people buy when other people are selling it creates like a support it makes the price go back up and you know the more that happens the smaller the fluctuations become and that's what we've seen recently we saw you know in the last week of December Bitcoin actually fell to about twelve thousand range and and you know like. At that point of time, friends were saying, oh, you know, I got it at 15,000, it's now down to 12. You know, what, what should I do? Should I get out? Should I take the loss? And it's like, I said, well, I'm, I'm doing absolutely nothing. Um, and, and 
and like a uh, good grief as well for quite a lot of people because we were there actually uh, a lot of people that that I know and, and what I've personally done as well is that I've actually put you know uh, most part of my Bitcoin in Coinbase hoping to get the 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 B2X right which, which you, you guys saw that never happened because there's a whole, di whole different dev team behind it but because uh, all that all that Bitcoin was stuck in Coinbase you know these people that I know they couldn't do anything with their funds either so uh, Coinbase was having all these kind of like a transaction difficulties and before we knew it it was back up at 15,000 so I looked at the charts I told I told the, uh, the people I knew okay fine you know I, I'm on I'm on urine vacation but I'll check out the charts anyways and what I saw is that okay like I said that if as long as Bitcoin remains afloat above 12,000 we're pretty much set okay and we're next probably looking at 27,000 30,000 on the Bitcoin um, but if it goes been below the 11 range you know I, I would I would I would tween the 11 and 12 to be around the same level between 11,000 range yes that there is some room for concern and I may probably do some hedging down the way to about 8,000 ish um, and uh, having said that you know that never happened and you know the mar market cap has been going between like uh, 530 550 and 600 on a day-to-day -day basis or that's 530 580 5 you know 540 basically it's like a 15 billion fluctuation every day and what happened in the last few days when the year took off for 2018 okay we can see obviously that you know the fund injection into the markets holy smokes 165 billion all right since the last day of december to now 165 billion this is definitely not the work of of retail investors this is the work of institutional investors and we can see or we can infer based on this that the drop that we saw in December was because of the institutions pulling their money out for year-end purposes because they're going on year-end leave and then coming back in once again to let the gains begin once again. All right, so uh, if you've been following Coindesk, okay, Coindesk uh, had some news of several institutions, you know, putting and stating their financial interests in the Bitcoin markets, the Ethereum markets in you know the past one two three days and uh i believe that that is not just that there, there's so many more institutions hedge funds as well all right there have been hedge funds there have been several hedge funds that actually you know proportion uh over 40 percent of their, their, their fund in cryptocurrency and you know taking that out in the end of the year putting it in in the start of the year it caused that huge jump in the re revitalization of Bitcoin even though we know that its overall market share is falling okay so is there cause for concern about the rise and fall let's come back to this point make it a habit to check coin market cap uh, or any other good crypto tracking site for the overall cryptocurrency coin market capitalization at like twice three times a day I personally check it about three times a day to just understand how things work once again this is how I understood how the binary the binary uh, options can work on the forex market and based on that you know I started this group called the binary lab so the binary lab elite programs out there for you guys who are interested to you know learn how to trade the binary options markets the forex markets and to trade and invest in cryptocurrency as well so if you like uh, to get more information on how you can um, you know how you can successfully trade this and mind you you know information is really power knowledge is power and I think that you know this is like the biggest proof if you look at my previous video all right with the previous proof about you know your first crypto breakthrough you would see that even implementing you know just one thing that you learn from the binary lab elite program you know that could actually make you a lot of money many times over your initial investment to learn all right so with that my name is Julian Wong from the Binary Lab, signing out, and I hope to see you in the Binary Lab Elite community. Bye for now. Good trading.